the planes and wind chimes. Good morning. Good morning. It's our coffee hour. It's with Saga Sea crew. Um, this week we're going to do, uh, we'll tell you about our trip to uh, Miami. But Steve has decided that he's going to unleash me. Um, it's going to be unfiltered, so we're going to warn you guys right now. I'll probably curse. Um, I'll go off on a tangent. I'll just say it like I see it, which is pretty crazy uh, most of the time. So our videos so far have been me trying to control myself, but it, that's no longer going to happen anymore. So we hope we don't lose any viewers, but if we do, hopefully we gain the people that really like me and not just say they do. <laughs> so um, we just got back from Miami. We took a road trip there to ship all of our items that we've been collecting this year to uh, re-rig the boat, um, redo all the halyards and sheets and lifelines. Uh, we bought ourselves a hookah, well, Steve a hookah, because uh, you know I ain't going to go down there. Um, uh, let's see, boat hook, there you go, Jesslyn, boat hook, got it. Um, shampoos it's all kinds of crap just just crap not crap but it's our stuff right so we did that we took it down to Miami because there's only one or two companies that receive shipment there in the Rio Dulce and those companies only deal with packages coming from Miami this particular ship this co particular company so yes, we could have dropped, shipped them, everything over there and hope that that company collected the boxes and kept them together um, and then shipped them all in one to our boat. Uh, but that would have been thousands of dollars, just to let you guys know. So yes, we are gonna spend a little over a thousand, probably about 1500 with our, our uh, gas and uh, maybe almost 2000 because we did eat well we always eat well obviously um but it was less than 3000 and we assured that all of our stuff got there because we've been purchasing it throughout the year and um so everything sh is all together it's nicely packaged steve didn't have to build a crate like he thought he was going to they were great um we had a crazy morning getting there well, let's just tell you about our Airbnb. So, if you haven't known by now, Steve loves to go the frugal side. Right, Steve? <laughs> mm -hmm. And I like adventure. So, and I like to get with the people. I don't want to, I mean, not that hotels and touristy areas aren't very comfortable, but I like to get with the community, the real people, the nitty gritty. I like that. So the stranger, the better. Um, I like to be, I'm never a fly on the wall, um, but the yakky fly, I guess, on the wall. Um, so when looking for our room, I found a really cheap room right in a great central location, and it happened to be in Little Haiti, a little community in Miami, downtown Miami. And the picture looked kind of like a frat house, um, but shoot, it was cheap, you know? And Steve just saw when I showed him the room, he's like, ah, saw the price. Yeah, that's cool. So when we get there, <laughs> he saw the frat house for real. And um, it, it's not a frat house. Um, it's kind of the guy that runs it is uh, loves uh, is the Buddhist type, you know, love and, and um, tranquility and uh, uh, to each his own, which right up my alley, you know me, I just want to uh, to let ever, everybody be what they're going to be. And then I try to change them. But <laughs> <laughs> so we get there and he's not there, but we got to meet his dad and his dad's girlfriend, who happened to be a cruiser and had been in the Rio Dulce the same year we were there. So we probably met her because she was at the same uh, marina. She looked familiar, but you know, we all start looking the same after a while, cruiser's a cruiser. Um, but we had a great two hour chat with her and him. And then our host came in and got us in our room. And uh, <laughs> 
So when Steve sees his place, he's worried about all his precious packages. So what would you think of the place? Sorry, I'm talking. Uh, it was, uh, it was okay. It, it was, it, it, um, it was, uh, pretty comfortable. Had good running AC. That's a and, uh, um, Look at the camera. Yeah, no, no problems, uh, you know, with security, really. But when you first fine. got there, what'd you think? Thought there's a lot of pot smoking going on. <laughs> Did you worry about the packages? Uh, yeah, I was worried about the packages until we got it to the ship. Yeah, we place. wouldn't leave it in the car by itself at all. Um, we're very secure on that. We we don't leave anything. Just like we don't <clears throat> leave Schooner alone, we don't leave our stuff alone um, when we're on the run, uh, on the road, on the run. <laughs> um, so he unpacked the car and took it all the way upstairs to our room, which was very bare, and, and most of our friends would think we're crazy, but it's what we wanted we, we we don't expect a whole lot clean sheets um, a bathroom running water um, that kind of stuff right mm -hmm. so like I said it's in little Haiti so in the bedroom we noticed that there's a, a long around the windows in the doorway there's these burn marks as if there's a fire was, I'm trying to figure out was there a fire outside or inside and why didn't they paint over that um, later we kind of figured out that it's the whole Haitian probably, um, we're assuming, this is just our assumptions, we didn't ask, but a, kind of a ritual to get out evil spirits because it was throughout the whole house. Um, and that was, that was kind of cool. And, um, not cool, but it's, it's interesting. What else, Steve? What about the house and the people? Um, well, I don't know. Half naked girls, Steve would have loved that, but he missed it. <laughs> Thanks, Emily Peace. I'm gonna call you Emily Peace because you say peace. So uh, I would have loved it if he would have caught you out there, but because uh, he's 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 Charlie Brown, you know. He gets he gets uh, worried that he's offending you. <laughs> so um, so why don't we move on. Yes, move on. Sorry. So then um, I got the directions wrong, the address wrong to where we got to go. So we were on the opposite side of Miami. Same street, same address, but just northwest or southwest. You got to watch Miami on that. We were looking for a shipping place at a college. Finally find it. Um, and then it was all great from there. Um, Steve didn't have to build a crate. They sold us a box on a plat pallet for $75, right up his alley. Um, I found my ring. That was another thing. Um, it was all good. Mm -hmm. We're so all happy. Once, once it got all, all uh, packaged up, all the pressure was off and we could uh, go to the beach. So we went, went to uh, north the beach. North uh, Beach there and it had a great time. And Schooner got uh, to play in the sand and got tired out, you know playing frisbee and uh we went to the marina went to the marina chatted with a, a work worker on a boat there that was yep. good he gave us a, a good uh recommendation for a place to eat where the locals go but yet still there and in, in, at the beach area had a lot of good people watching mm -hmm. um paid parking everywhere we didn't kind of like that so we asked uh, our host about uh, taking a bus. We thought we'd take a bus. He recommended we take Lyft. So it was our first time with Lyft. Uh, worked the next day we went to South Beach um, and uh, that worked out great. Uh, we kind of walked to the Starbucks that was the closest, a coffee house that was the closest uh, in Little Haiti. So we got to see the neighborhood. Uh, love that there's sidewalks all over Miami. Love, love, love that. Um, I'm all for parks and sidewalks around the world. Go sidewalks. So, uh, what did you think of South Beach, Steve? Um, it was great. Good day. Lots of beaches. Lots of uh, what? I was thinking I forgot about the uh, toll roads and how Mother Boyd may get a ticket. <laughs> yeah. We kind of had to take some toll roads and didn't have a sticker and... Um, 
Steve played it out in his head about his mother being arrested in a couple years from outstanding warrant on toll roads, but... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She'll be like, oh, Steven. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah. So, food was great, right? Mm-hmm. We had Peruvian. Yep. We had uh, Argentinian, Peruvian. And um, some Italian pastries. Yep. Mm -hmm. Coffee. It's great. It was good. We had a good trip. And then we went down and saw, um, well, we went up and to see, to Indian Town Marina and met a couple of other famous bloggers. They're not as famous as we are, but, you know, we, <laughs> we stepped down a little bit off our high horse and met MJ Selling and um, the cynical sailor and his salty sidekick, Ellen. Thanks, Ellen, for the picture. Um, and uh, saw some boats. It was good. Uh, then we went and stayed with a friend of ours over in Tampa that we met. We met him back in Rotan several years ago. Saw his little plane, saw the marina. Tampa's a nice little town too. We, we, we liked it. Um, and then came home, straight through. That's how we roll. That's right. What else? Um, I don't know what else to say. The big thing off our list. Oh yeah, relief. <sighs> So it'll sit there for about two weeks, our box, and then it'll take the slow ride up to, or down, to uh, the Rio Dulce. It'll probably cost us about a thousand dollars, but we would have spent that um, on the higher prices. We could have got the materials in the Rio Dulce. It would have been probably a different brand or other little stuff, and then the higher price because of shipping. So this way we got what we wanted and did it ourselves. So. I kind of like what we do everything. So that's it. Mm -hmm. We won't bore you anymore. So from now on, our videos will be uncensored. I'll say whatever the hell I want and you'll have to deal with it. <laughs> but be good to yourself and to others. And we're out, right? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.